This week's delivered food review is Harvester and Krispy Kreme Donuts uh, as a dessert. So as you see there, what's coming up? And if you stick around, you'll see exactly how I rated both of these. And really, are they any good? So as I say, this week, Harvester and Krispy Kremes, just because it was the Halloween Ghostbusters. Um, I've not been to Harvester in terms of delivery. Sorry, I've been to Harvester in terms of inside, but just not had it delivered. So I thought, let's just see what it's like. You know, straight away, you can see there, which I missed in terms of the uh, video, was getting the fries out. But there's a hell of a lot of fries for, for what you get. And I know, again, it's not cheap. But they were good fries. They were crisp, like crunchy, crispy, kind of on the outside, soft in the middle, much bigger than standard, let's say, Burger King or McDonald's fries by miles. They were kind of more like the steak fries or, or oven fries kind of principle. And they were really good. You can see there the price of everything. Not cheap, but at least free salad, which is one of Harvester's um, selling points or, or USPs, whatever you want to call it. And as you can see there, the Krispy Kreme donuts which we'll go over uh, a little bit later on. So first of all, the main meal, and it is a meal. It's more, you know, it's, it's fast food in a sense, but at the same time, it's home cooked. You know, the fries or, or chips, more to the point, you can see there, a little bit soft that one was to be fair, although I've said they were crispy. Most of them were quite, quite crispy on the outside and, and fluffy in the middle. But I think the heat or moisture, I'm gonna hate that word, gets to them obviously on the delivery and it was a bit of a distance, but I can't really fault the fries. They were a little bit cooler um, than obviously what they would have been coming out the uh, the oven, as it were. But the gravy, which is the chicken gravy, which we'll go over in one sec, um, was brilliant. These are little cornbreads um, with hot honey drizzle on them. They're really, really good. They could do with maybe one more, like four, I think would be ideal. Um, but they were really good, like as a an additional to the chips. They, they, they were. Sort of more American, I guess, cornbread, but yeah, I think with the with the rack of ribs, rotisserie chicken, you know, that kind of adds to it. So I can't really knock them at all. Um, I mean, ultimately, as an original, well, called the original combo, quarter portion of rotisserie chicken, half rack of barbecue glazed ribs, sage and onion seed seasoned fries, I'm not sure about that, um, hot honey or new hot honey drizzled cornbread um, and the speciality chicken gravy. The gravy was brilliant. I mean, the rotisserie in the background, the B-roll there, the rotisserie chicken was, ah, I could have eaten the whole chicken. It, is, it was so soft, so moist, well, so much moisture in the chicken um, that it was almost, almost a little bit too soft. As you can see there, let's just go over that, advertised versus reality. <clears throat> Excuse me, the I couldn't really get them in again because there was so much and obviously the you know the angle of the the, the video is it's not easy and I didn't really get the donuts in the background on the advertised versus reality but they weren't far off these were more pictures taken of the food rather than a marketing team I think that's that's the reality I know they're a brand don't get me wrong but <clears throat> their um, sort of show of the food was far more you know, reality and the advertised matched the reality, which I think was was really good. Um, can't really knock them at all on that. So as I've been kind of waffling there a bit, the chicken, as I say itself, was was almost too soft. Like it, it was uh, it was really good though. Like the it wasn't dry. Um, it didn't have any flavouring on in it. Flavouring on it. It was just a plain rotisserie chicken. But I think sometimes you don't necessarily need sauce on everything. Although, obviously these have got uh, barbecue seasoning, barbecue sauce on them, but just not drowned in them. And again, if it's a KFC with the barbecue bites or the hot whatever bites, then yeah, you know, a fair bit of sauce on them, I think is right. But these barbecue ribs, the meat was enough. And yes, as you saw a minute ago, or a second ago, I should have used a bloody knife. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, I suppose it shows that the meat does come off the bones pretty easily, which it did. Um, there was a fair bit of meat on them, although they're not these like dinosaur style ribs um, that the Americans have, although it's kind of, you know, similar to the whole principle of American dining in terms of the rack of ribs, I guess. Um, but they were good, like they were soft in terms of the meat. The barbecue sauce wasn't overpowering. Um, wasn't spicy, but it was kind of a mild, mild barbecue sauce, not really tangy. 
Um, so it's really nice, like not too much of it again, which is, I think, you know, a lot of Harvester's meals, especially the other meals I've had, they don't go over the top with, you know, um, seasoning and sauce because it, really it's good quality food. I, I don't think it necessarily needs it. Maybe these brands need to cover up the fact that they've, they're using, you know, cheap chicken. So maybe that's that's a point that I've not really thought about before from doing uh, these videos. But in terms of that gravy, that gravy was almost a KFC gravy. Um, so I can't know that at all. And the fact that everything was a little bit cooler with the distance, the gravy made up for it because the gravy was still hot. So it, that was, I think it's, I mean, I'm kind of like, I've got no more words to say. It was a really good meal. The price, seventeen forty nine. I don't know, I can't get my head around, like, is it cheap, is it expensive? It's not cheap, but for what you're getting, I wouldn't say it's expensive. I mean, the free salad that you get with the harvester is, most harvester meals, I'm pretty sure, you get a free salad, and you can obviously then serve yourself, which was that first picture, um, the salad bar. And I think it's an unlimited salad on some meals. I'm not 100% sure, but look how much you get. You know, fresh tomato, fresh lettuce, fresh peppers. What more do you want, you know? If some of these branded, all right, fast food places maybe had some of this additional, it might tempt people into, you know, maybe having a bit of salad with, with a meal. The little croutons, uh, I'm not really sure. I think they were just an additional part of the salad bar, but they were nice, they were crunchy. They were, they were really nice. The sauce that you'll see in a second was kind of a tangy, sweet tangy tomato sauce. I don't think it was a marinara type sauce. A um, little bit too thin for that, as you can see. But it was really kind of almost spicy, but like a tangy sauce. And it was quite nice dipping the croutons in it. Uh, I mean, it was probably a, more to the point a dressing for the salad. But as you see there, it's, it was really nice. I, I, I just can't fault the meal. I can't fault the meal apart from the mac and cheese. There just wasn't as much cheese sauce, I think, that there should have been from other mac and cheeses I've had. And the box was kind of just too big for it. If they've got a, a sort of in-between, a smaller box, that, that would be perfect because there's enough mac and cheese, mac, macaroni um, cooked perfectly, cheddar cheese with a cheddar sauce. Yeah, I, I could, again, for £3.49, I think it was. It might have been £3.99, £3.49, I think. So that's pretty cheap. I know it's not much you get in, but it's still pretty cheap. Um, I think it's called... Uh, as like a double mac and cheese, so just extra cheese on it. But anyway, after all of that, to Krispy Kremes, and obviously they're never cheap, but Krispy Kremes, um, I've had a few of these recently, which I won't go into, but um, this one I didn't realize. I thought it was another. There is a few other different ones as part of the Ghostbusters range, but this is just their original glazed donut, which was really good. I mean, it's just a, a basic donut with a glaze on it, which I guess that, that sums up donuts. The uh, Ghostbusters one with the no ghost pack, the, the original Ghostbusters pack and it all edible, um, was really good. So if I just have a flick through, where was that? The Ghostbusters with the chocolate, chocolate icing, dark biscuit crumb, silver sugar, and no ghost pack. The Slimer was green lemon filling dipped in purple icing, piped with green icing and Slimer pack as well. Which I didn't realize as I was biting into it that it had the, you know, the filling inside. So. They were all they were all pretty good donuts, but just you know, essentially ring donuts and and, uh, and a filled donut. But they were good, just not cheap. So ratings nine out of ten, seven out of ten, and eight point five. Really good meal. I appreciate everybody watching and all the new subscribers. And if you haven't, check out these videos.